here's Ron Johnson on the Tucker Carlson uh, program. Ron Johnson, as you know, is running for re-election in Wisconsin. Despite promising that he would not. That's true. When he first got elected, he said, I will be a two-term senator. What is this? It's his third term. Interesting. He's also a uh, complete moron. And here he is uh, with uh, Tucker Carlson. Uh, anybody that looks at uh, our response, you know, driven, man mismanaged by uh, Anthony Fauci, has got to take a look at the fact 889,000 Americans are dead. Uh, we rank 22nd in terms of deaths per million, over 2,600. Sweden is, uh, I think, in the 70s at 1,500. Uh, so the fact of the matter is we should have been exploring and researching early treatment. And I certainly learned from doctors who've been treating, having the courage and compassion to treat COVID, that it's an entirely treatable disease. Probably hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives that didn't have to. But I, I also hope that uh, people start looking at yeah. that. If you're going to get a second opinion, go to a doctor who actually has the courage and compassion to treat COVID as opposed to those that sit in their ivory towers or in their bureaucratic uh, offices, never see a patient, but just make all these pr pronouncements what? say they are science as they ignore science. May, may I ask, this is uh, maybe a, a longer answer than the minute we have, but have you reached a conclusion on why from the very beginning they have discouraged treatment of the disease and basically told people, wait till you're almost dead to show up at the hospital? Is there, is there an explanation for that? Well, I have my suspicions. I mean, if you take a look at the money approach uh, one of the things we revealed is that the only drugs that uh, the health agencies have recommended are they start about 500 bucks a pop going up to about 3500 uh, all novel drugs uh, pr produced by the pharma companies whereas the ones that they've trashed that have uh, decades worth of uh, very good safety profiles uh, they've completely ignored but these things are often pennies a dose uh, you go figure that oh interesting Really? First I've heard of that. Basically saying that everyone should go in and have gotten ivermectin. Penny's a dose. And he is making no money off of that at all. Yeah. Ivermectin. I mean, here's the thing, though, is that he's suggesting that we shouldn't have had anybody um, uh, vaccinated and, and that we should just uh, focus on treatment and that everyone should should get treated as soon as they get covid so everybody goes to the hospital or to their doctor to get their ivermectin according to him or whatever it is hydroxychloroquine um as if like this we have a uh, a medical system that could have sustained even anything remotely like even if ivermectin worked yeah and you could uh, and and you had millions of people go to their doctors to get ivermectin that's still more than you're still taking it monthly to, to be prophylactic right yeah. that's like you're still having to spend what you would on like uh, a streaming service on ivermectin <laughs> or or is it is it just as a prophylactic he's talking about treatment so it, presumably right. it's you find out that you have covid but are we testing regularly then or what's that Hey, you right. just magically exactly. know that you that you have COVID because you don't want the the testing companies to make all the money off of that. So whenever you think that you have COVID, you go in and you get the ivermectin. This is just sheer insanity. You yeah. go into the hospitals that are being fully funded right now, and in rural communities, you know it's really easy to get to those hospitals and get that treatment. They're not overflowing. And and by the way, as a man in an ivory tower, I'm giving you all the scientific advice that you need because I am a senator in an ivory tower. But don't listen to Dr. Fauci, an actual. No, doctor. but he's doctors in ivory towers. Like I, I'm curious, dude. Like there are some cr crazy doctors out there who say take ivermectin, and you They're can get chiropractors. Yeah, well, no, but there is. A, I know of a general practitioner who is Trumpy, and I've heard heard stories about like the not not believing in vaccination. There are them out there, but the general medical consensus is against what Ron Johnson is saying. Yeah, and 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 notice how Tucker is only focused on like preemptive care is also treatment. And that's what vaccination is. You are preemptively or preventatively, I should say, preventative care is also treatment. You are making sure that your body is best positioned to deal with this novel virus that has killed over 800,000 Americans at this point. So in like, a sense, also as a mask, too. And shutdowns and, in a weird sense. And yeah. how would the vaccination be any, like, cheaper than the mass ivermectin? The, va the vaccination is free. free. 
free. No, but, but, but I mean, uh, but I'm saying like, like the but I'm stuff. saying like, you know, uh, yeah, we're paying the, you know, uh, the big pharma is making billions off this, but like the production of ivermectin like who would do, who how would this all happen like exactly, how would you yeah. get like they're I already running out of ivermectin to the extent that uh they're having to ask you know people not to eat the veterinary uh version of it and so if millions upon millions of people we had a million kids last you know j the week of january 18th get um uh, get covid there's no ivermectin supply where you all take this it's just it's just it's just insanity there's a, a new study from a researchers at university of michigan boston university this was published by las vegas sun today uh we also know the financial toll of the ivermectin craze in a research letter published thursday by the journal for american medical association they estimated that medicare and the private insurers so this doesn't count medicaid but medicare and the private insurers wasted an estimated 130 million dollars last year on ivermectin prescriptions for covid <laughs> And that's and what fraction of people actually did that? Yeah, I mean, what fraction? As if like ivermectin was going to be nothing. It's really. Uh, what I understand is, so are they saying that okay. vaccines just don't work? Like I can't. That's implicit. I mean, there it, it depends on which charlatan you're talking about, but. Yeah, I mean, the, the people that go on like the Dark Horse podcast, they were talking about, and on Joe Rogan, for instance, the uh, meaning Joe Rogan's COVID gurus were saying that ivermectin was a near perfect prophylactic for coronavirus, and which is an insane thing to say, and something they stopped, you know, saying, and now they're mad at CNN for different like, horse pay <laughs> stuff. Um, but I mean, how irresponsible.